Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to make a horizontal reward bar similar to this one in Unity. This is my starting scene. I am using my previous tutorial floating coin system for this tutorial that because I want to show this kind of animation whenever you press on the horizontal reward bar. All the assets for this project will be given to you in video description. You don't have to make the whole system for following this tutorial, just take a canvas, change its UI scale mode to scale with screen size, give reference resolution, also change the match value to 0.5. Right click on the canvas and take a panel. Let's call it our reward container. Anchor it to middle. Give width like 700 and height 150. Change its position. Like here. Also, let's remove the get button for now. Take another panel UI panel, it will be our numbers container. It will take the whole spaces of its parent inside the number container. Take UI image. Let's call it gauge image. Take a text inside the image and stretch it so it will take the full space. Auto size, align the text, make the text like 1x. See, I can see my text that because our color is white so change it to something so that we can see our number duplicate the gauge image as you can see it's really tedious work that's why i'm going to take help from horizontal reward group which is unity component add it to your numbers container then check the both width and height of control child size now each item takes the equal spaces drag and drop your gauge image to project folder you make it as a prefab now you can just simply duplicate them this will help you if you want to generate this gauge item dynamically so you can have like three items or ten items as many as you like now take a ui slider on your container stretch it so it will take the whole spaces delete the background fill area also hand in slide area that because we don't need it if you play right now you can see that slider value goes from 0 to 1 in our case we want to animate that change the handle knob image with your own image i'll give you a downloadable link for this image make sure you check the piece of aspect ratio give width like 100 and height to 100 and we don't need x offset also anchor it to take the whole left side then change its position like so then drag the whole slider something to this value if you play right now i can drag the hand from one corner to another but we don't want that kind of behavior uncheck the interactable our hand got dimmed that because here is a transition animation but i also don't want that so none now we are going to code so that our hands go from zero to one and keep looping create a script on the project folder let's call it gauge item now add the gauge item script to our gauge image open the script First, I'm going to take reference for our gauge image. So, public image then reference for our text. Also, I'm going to create a helper class for containing the gauge information. So, public class gauge info 
our gates should include the information of multiplier then public color and lastly range so the range will be needed for searching through the all gauge item i will explain it later now make it as serializable so that if i write public gauge info current info it will show up in inspector delete the update method let's create a method called public void set gauge info gauge image dot color equal to current info dot color gauge text dot text equal to current info dot multiplier plus for now let's call it from the start so let's see if the system it works or not go back to unit editor open the prefab drag and drop your image then text let's say give multiplier like 2x and color to them something like red if you play right now you see all the items changes its color and multiplier on hierarchy create object let's call it reward manager and on the project folder create a script called reward manager drag and drop our reward manager script to the object open the script first i'm going to take reference for our gauge items then i'm going to take a list for our gauge infos now let's go back to unity editor see gauge infos it's a multiplier initially one this color we're going to set range later don't worry about it right now okay Do something like this three and this to four lastly five what my aim is I'm going to add this gauge infos to our gauge items currently I have no gauge items that because I have to assign those so go to canvas and dragon oh, we have i'm going to use uh, five of them but in your case you can use any amount you like i'm also using this case infos so i can assign them on the gauge items randomly so that every time user sees them it's a different combination delete tap that method i'm going to create a method called set gauge items Your temp infos. I'm using two lists that because I'm creating another instance of this infos. That because if I change any of the value, it will also change the main value, which I don't want that. Now for each items. make sure you are using the random dot range from the unity engine not the system
the reason I am removing from the temp infos that because I don't want same information to assign to multiple gauge items. Info currently our gauge info method like this, so it doesn't take the gauge info. So let's like call it like gauge info target info then current info equal to target info also you're not going to call it from here we're going to call it set gauge items from the start also you see we have one item on our gauge info which is called range i didn't assign it here so let's do the things for this one so far range um, the reason i am using 100 that because our sliders goes from 0 to 1 and i want to represent in 100% that because it's easier to calculate but in your case you don't have to you just set target info dot range equal to range if we press play you see the value is assigned every time i play you see it's giving me a different combination now let's animate the slider for that i'm going to use dot win which is a free asset this one add it to your asset then go to reward manager it's called uh, private void animate slider first we need to take reference for our slider so public slider then i'm going to take another variable which is how long it will take from slider go to from zero to one here slider do value this do value is provided by dot win so i'm going from zero to one so one and duration also let's set our slider dot value to zero if whenever we are starting our animating slider then we want our slider to go from zero to one then one to zero it means looping so set loops in dot wing uh, minus one means infinite loop and also loop type is yo 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 means that it goes from zero to one then at the same way it come back to zero so loop type yo yo and lastly i'm going to set is we want just linear animation now we are going to call it from our start we need to assign our slider first then give value like 2 if you press play now you see our slider is animating current is too slow let's make it faster so mm, 1.5 looks good uh, right now it will work now let's do the on click event whenever i click on this horizontal reward numbers it is stop the animation go to reward manager get public void on horizontal clicked make sure it's public and we need to stop this dotting animation for that i'm going to take a twin animation variable which is let's call it twin uh, whenever we click on horizontal click we're going to set like kill go back to unity editor add a button component here we don't want any animation 
also add on click event and drag and drop your reward manager reward manager on horizontal clicked if you press play now and let's stop now you have to find out which gauge item is currently selected i'm going to create a method called private gauge item right that's item this method will take the float target value this one is for target value go to slider dot value into 100 remember we are representing our slider value 0 to 1 to 2 100 so that's why i'm multiplying it with 100 but item for now let's return null on our get gauge item we need to set one total we are going to do a weighted search no gauge item If target value is less than or equal to total value, then this is our item. Let's print the debug here debug dot log each item dot current info dot multiplier. Press play. If you, if you press the horizontal reward bar right now, it's on two. It's saying two. And now it's a three. I want to multiply this value with this pointer every time it updates its value. For that, I'm going to take reference for public tp text. Let's go text and another variable current score whenever we are starting our game i'm going to set a score text dot text equal to score dot to string let's go back to energy editor we need to find we need to first assign our text value to react manager this one and just give current score like one press play uh, our uh, setting a start value now whenever we are updating our reward bar we have to update that value in dot in animation they have a helper method which is called on update let's create a separate method for it so public void update current score here i'm going to set my score text dot current score here our target score go to current score into is this one dot multiplier if you press play you see it's updating its value whenever the reward value is changing now what i want to do is whenever we stop you see two coin i want to show two coin goes from here to there and you don't have to do it that because if you're not following me on the previous tutorial 
you don't have that system in your case you may be implemented in in your way i'm going to take a reference for private gauge item current item which is currently selected i need to take the reference for it so this one current item whenever we are killing uh, our dot win i already know the gauge item that because it's already selected in here so we need to take reference for our public coin manager on coin manager we first need to set the coin amount which is the integer amount but our current score is in float so we convert it to int then coin manager on get button clicked we need to assign our coin manager nice this is it for today guys if you have any question or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below thank you so much for watching